what's up guys this is Ashish Tiway here and you are watching Techno Tips jQuery tutorial so this is part 16 of this video series in this video I'll discuss about how to add remove CSS class in jQuery okay so in previous tutorial I have just covered several topics like visibility effects sliding effects and fading effects now it's time to discuss about how to add remove CSS classes so here we have four methods add class remove class toggle class and has class okay so let's discuss each and everything step by step so first of all in the previous tutorial we have just covered uh, these uh, fade fade toggle fade to and fade in fade out methods so first of all let's view the output so reload it and just click on the fade out button it will just fade out and then fade in because I have just called this method here see this is my callback function and it's, uh, it's again uh, calling this fade in fade in method to fade in this div okay and if I remove this and change the parameter like two seconds so it will take two seconds to fade out okay now I'm clicking on this so it's gone and now again in fade in so fade into fade in that div and fade toggle we have you see it just do the task of fade in and fade out and fade to it just used to give some particular opacity like uh, in previous tutorial I have just explained I have just given this opacity 0 0.5 so and it will take 10 seconds so let's give some small so it will take 5 second and up to 5 uh, up to 0 0.5 opacity so let's reload it and just call on the fade to method here you can see it will stop up to 5 0 0.5 opacity okay now let's fulfill our today's objective so first of all mm, let me remove this I'm just removing each and everything so that it can be clear to you to understand the logic if you are new to one then I'll just help you okay so here you here we have taken three four buttons okay let's change the topic uh, change the text so first is my add class so it will just add class and then we will discuss remove class and then we'll have the toggle class and then we have has class okay so we have taken first of all just take these four buttons okay and I have just taken this uh, particular div let's remove the style element from here okay so it's div 1 It's a simple div where we have uh, h4 and then paragraph okay and here I have just taken this CSS property display then padding then margin and and it has the gray border if you don't want to give then just comment it out control KC let's see okay so I have this what is Lauren and this is the title and uh, this this is my text and I have add class, remove class, toggle class and has class four buttons to explain all four methods okay now let's create some style sheet here so I'll just use dot red theme this is my class and in red theme the background color should be red you 
again check this one okay and the color should be you know black or white white should be great okay control K D and then I'll just create another red theme let's say blue theme and let's create the background mm, color should be hash if you click on hash key then you will have you know blue color let's take the blue color as should be dark one okay and then the color should be again white now take another theme let's just copy that green theme okay and I'm just hitting hash let's choose this one light green okay and the color should be you know black would be fine so here I have just created three CSS property general class here you can see this is blue theme class and just put dot here dot and then dot okay now let's discuss the first one so on the first uh, button click I'll just add the red theme so it will just add class and let's call add red theme okay let's remove uh, okay so here we have add class which will add the red theme and then we will have remove class which will remove red theme and then this toggle class would be used to toggle you know toggle uh, you can add the some different theme that is blue theme so add remove blue theme okay and has class just check if if it has some particular type of class then it will just remove okay so check class name and do operation okay so here we have four class and four buttons to do all all to understand all the methods okay now let's access the first button so on first button click let's say hash btn1 dot click dot click oh sorry we are just calling a function and inside this function we will just add this div one okay so div one I'm just taking div one as a reference okay so div one dot sorry dollar hash div one dot add class add class and here you can pass the class name so what is your first class let's say red theme so just copy this class here and paste so it will just when you click on the button one it will just add this class to div one and here is my div one okay 
now right now it doesn't have any class let's reload it let's click on this oh, something something gonna happen here hash diff1 dot add class and we will just add class red theme document dot ready mm -mm. okay mm -hmm. background color is this one and yeah, reload it again okay so here we have just forget the end button because here we have btn1 id instead of bt1 mm -hmm. now save it and reload it and then click on this okay so here you go so it had just red background and then white color you can see same method so it is just adding the red theme class on div1 okay again you can see just reload it add class means add red theme class so here you can see when I click on the first button it will just show me this output so background and this will just remove the red theme so just let's write the code let's copy that so my second button click on my second button click it should the div one should be you know remove this class remove class this red theme okay now reload this so it has just it's just adding the class red and it's just removing the class red adding and removing this class adding and then removing okay and this toggle class will do the task of both add class and remove class okay and it's also check if this class exists then remove it and if not exist then add it okay so let's copy this one and button 3 on button 3 calling I am just adding toggle class this method and blue theme I'm just using this blue theme class here okay and the method is toggle class now save it and this is my button now reload it so my first button is adding red theme and this second button is removing red theme and the third one will add the blue theme and then again when you uh, click on second time then it will remove blue theme see add remove add remove add remove okay you can do this so it's just toggling the class and now we have has class okay so now the button for click let's create a handler for this button for click button for click so first of all you just check uh, where has class equal to dollar this function dollar def1 dot has clash so it will return true or false see has class it will return true okay so dollar no if has class if has class it means if it has some class okay means if it has has class and here you can pass parameter it 
let's suppose if it has blue theme so I can just get here true or false and then if it is as blue thin then I'll just add you know dot add class let's say green theme okay I'll just add class if it has blue theme then it will just add you know green class or else it will just add some different class like uh, let's create a yellow theme also else let's add class yellow theme and just create here one more just copy that and create another theme hello and here just choose this one and the color should be black okay so here we have just check if it has blue theme then it will just add green theme otherwise it will just add yellow theme okay now reload it so right now it has red color red theme now click on this hash class so if it has red theme then it will go to the ill section here so it will it should add the yellow theme here you can see yellow theme okay now remove class will not work add class will not work now remove class and then toggle and see toggle class C now click on has class okay so let's click on that so it's adding the uh, another class which is a green class I think so if it has blue theme then it will add green theme otherwise yellow theme okay now again reload it so right now I have blue theme now click on that so it's adding the green theme now add red theme and now click on that so it will add yellow theme not a uh, green theme okay and also it doesn't have anything so just click on that again it will go to the else condition okay so it doesn't have blue theme so it will every time is it will just add yellow theme okay so that is the function of these classes add class remove class toggle class and has class okay if uh, I think you have understood this logic and in in the pre in the next video I'll just cover the animation effect okay so thank you very much for watching if you like this video then give a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to share this video among your friend and if you have any query any suggestions you can put your uh, suggestion or query into the comment box and uh, uh, I'll just provide the code for each each and every tutorial uh, into the description box and uh, thank you very much for watching have a great day